Yo guys, this is Mulverney on the move. Right now I'm on the third day, my final day of the test drive experience on the brand new 2013 Buick Encore. And behind me on the background is the tester. As you can see, it's a very beautiful body paint of white diamond body paint as Buick told me about. It's a very nice, interesting, curvy, little cute uh, crossover vehicle. I gotta say that before I test drive this Buick Encore, I test drive many cars, American cars, Japanese cars, European cars. I gotta admit that there was a period where I wasn't really confident in any American cars. Um, I felt like they were behind the competition in every way. But when I saw this Buick Encore, over time, I saw this Buick Encore, I was like, hey, this car is just so different compared to anything on the market, and especially for Buick. And I think the Buick is trying to kind of bring in the younger image, trying to target the younger demographics. And basically, I think they're trying to bring in a niche and be creative with this vehicle. They basically want to tell people that there might be some demographics of people who doesn't need a huge SUV, gas guzzling SUV, but a car that has big, tall height, great visibility, fuel efficient, but with stylish, but can also have luxury features. And this trim level that I got as a tester was a premium level all-wheel drive. And I gotta tell you, there are tons of luxury features on this vehicle. There is a backup camera, Bose stand standard audio system, um, there is OnStar, the famous GM OnStar navigation system, the mid screen that will show you the different radio stations and all kinds of information you have. You can see the leather seats in different tone, different color. I think Buick actually scored big in terms of putting rich material and putting the designer into beautifully craft this vehicle. This car looks small from outside but actually inside is very roomy. It has different layers of shades of different brown. You can see the mid brown here and then there's a mocha brown here and a wood grain. And in terms of storage, I'm telling you, there's storage everywhere. There's the usual glove box. There's storage here. There's storage right here. Cup holder here. The storage right here. Even on the side of the doors, there's also storage. And the Buick emblem here is very nicely nicely done. It's edged on there. There are a lot of things to like in terms of um, this car. It's very versatile. And I got to say, one thing that I was very interested before I test drive this car was that this car only have a 1.4 liter turbo four cylinder that pumps up 138 horsepower with a torque of 148 pounds feet of torque at a low RPM of 1800. Now, to be honest with you, I was really curious before this drive to see whether there's enough power for this car. And surprisingly, I got to say, I was really impressed. Um, the automatic 6 speed automatic gear perfectly fit this engine power powertrain. There's no lacking of power, there's no jerking. The car is very smooth, silky smooth. When on the highway, if you want to accelerate, obviously this is not a car that's for Fast and Furious 6 kind of sport car, but this car, if you're on the highway, there's still enough power for you to pass other cars, to accelerate, and to be really steady on, this, on the highway. Another thing I really enjoy is the height of the car, the visibility. I, the moment I got into the seat, the leather seat was very comfortable. And I felt like I was on top of everybody. Um, I can see the hood. The hood is short, so it allows me to drive easily. I can see the hood. I can see everywhere. Because the car is not long, so when I change lanes, I have the windows at the back that can I can clearly see. It's very easy to change lanes, and uh, there's not much blind spot. The only thing that I wasn't really used to was there's this pillar on this window. And it, when I'm trying to look at the rear view mirror, it's kind of giving me a little bit time to get used to overlooking this pillar to look at the mirrors. But otherwise, it's okay. Overall, and um, overall, like something such as this one, the design of this one is that there's one button to uh, push the sunroof up, and then the, another button on the left to totally open the sunroof. Now. In terms of design, I'm kind of puzzling why you need two buttons because, I mean, there are other cars where you just need one button. You can have an option to push the sunroof or push the sunroof all the way. So in this sort of design, I kind of found that the duplication of this button is kind of a, a waste of the cost. Now the sunroof is alright, 
but the only problem I have with the sunroof is that it's just not big enough as you can see on the back there is no sunroof area for the back passengers so I would have loved that if the sunroof was a little bit bigger so that the people at the back can also enjoy some of the open fresh air um, also the headrest the back there's plenty of room beautiful because of the tall height of the front seats and the tall height of the building uh, the car it give a lot of leg room for the people at the back uh, there's a middle armrest for the people at the back very comfortable nice headrest unfortunately those two headrests can also be a visibility problem with such a small rear window at the back so the rear window visibility is also actually uh, a little bit issue there but that's fine because you have a backup camera to help you see the objects at the back now the backup camera is very useful but the only thing that I didn't really like was this annoying pitch of sound because when there is object in the back the sound get higher and higher and it is a very irritating pitch of sound which I didn't really like something that I like is also the uh, is the design of the steering wheel the heated steering wheel is amazing the, the uh, speedometer the cluster everything is fine um, the center console to be honest is very beautifully made but unfortunately one of the things that I didn't really enjoy is all these confusing buttons some of these buttons have codes that I don't even know what is CR SRC I mean when I'm driving I'm concentrating on the road and I don't really want to see all kinds of complications of all the buttons uh, that I need to figure out now because this car is perceived as luxurious with features there was one major thing that I would have wished that the General Motors Buick did was that to replace this old-fashioned ignition key into a push start button that would be something that I thought that a luxury car should have because a lot of lower entry cars such as Kia or other cars would have push start button it's not major biggie but if you're going to talk about luxury then I would assume that you will have that now there's an armrest for the captain chairs on the driver but uh, a lot of ladies told me that they wish to have their own armrest as well which they don't have but other than that that's fine there's also a memory card um, power memory seat on the driver all in all I was also impressed with the back of the trunk because a lot of these cars usually wouldn't have be able to have a lot of space but as you can see you can still put it put in two good luggage two suitcase or you can put all kinds of 24 bottles of beer everywhere in a lot of trunk space I was very impressed and also the design of the full back seats that you can make it flat even on the passenger seat you can make it flat so if you have to carry some long 2x4 wood this car can actually haul it down so is very doable now all in all it is a great experience and I got to say thank you Buick Canada there's something that I like but there's also something that I didn't like I'm just trying to be a uh, uh, provide feedback as a consumer but all in all I'm very impressed with the Buick uh, I think they have find the right niche they have been creative um, the car has been very modern very futuristic design and I hope the Buick Canada the best that they have found the market and I gotta say it has really changed my perception of Buick especially this on car this is definitely a car that I would like to drive it's something that I don't mind driving and also it's a car that I don't mind buying the colors are beautiful there's a different color different schemes everything that will fit everyone's needs so Moverni is all here I really enjoyed this if you want to know more subscribe to Moverni on YouTube channel otherwise check out more Buick Encore for yourself go to the dealership give it a test drive and see if this is the vehicle for you this is a very interesting car it has its own market and hopefully Buick has hit a home run on this and I hope to see many of this on the road until next time Moverni is out here